Hello. So, BTGs are back again yeah. with another food crawl, baby. Today we're gonna have arepas, which are Colombian and Venezuelan street food that is made out of corn flour, water, and salt. You can prepare it in many different ways. You can like grill it, you can bake it, boil it, you can boil it, you can even steam it. it. But today we're gonna have it in like a sandwich style. They're probably gonna put it on a griddle and sliced them. Eat with meat and cheese and avocado and all the other deliciousness, maybe plantains, who knows? We're gonna be going to Williamsburg and Bushwick today. But and first, Union Square. Square. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Union Square. <laughs> Would you say apple cider is a classic at the Union Square Green yes. Market? Thousand percent. Get some apple cider if you come here. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Good. Jesus. Good. To optimize your Union Square Market experience, you should start on one side, loop all the way to the end, and then loop, and then, and then loop back. So you don't miss anything. It can be overwhelming at some parts, but you know, just take it easy. Just know that you're gonna make. You're gonna hit them all, you're gonna loop around and you're good. I like how they're in love. <laughs> We're here in Williamsburg. Taka Sarepa Bar. Annie. La Del Gato Arepa, and it comes with cheese, plantains, avocado. We weren't feeling something so heavy, and this doesn't have meat in it. We decided to start with vegan. Oh, that's a good bite. Mm. Mm. Wow, How is very it? good. Plantains are very good. Plantains are nice and soft, really sweet. Avocado is perfect. The texture of the arepa itself is nice and crunchy. It goes well with the soft plantain. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm going in. Mm, it's like. A little peppery, it's not spicy though. Mm. I would like this. That looks like a burger. Mm. I don't have much knowledge on arepas in general, but for my taste buds, I give this like a eight and a half. Nice. I've had maybe an arepa once before, but this is pretty much my first time because I don't really remember how it tastes. It's a big bite. Ooh, mm. good cheese. I love the plantain. The sweetness of that plantain is like On point. Perfect. And it matches really well with the saltiness of the cheese. You drooling? <laughs> Probably. Sauce is banging, right? It's tangy. There's not too much crunch in this right now. Maybe because it's not as fresh as when you had it. I give this a uh, 7.5. Okay, we're going to two more spots. On to the next one. We went on a little detour from Winston Bakery. Right. The Tian soy milk, Dao Jiang, which is sweet. And then we got the Fan Tuan, which is pork. Pork floss rice thing with fried dough. Right. Like a burrito. This is such an interesting. Wait, hold this up. This is. How does this work? I'm thirsty, so I'm gonna try the soy milk. That's sweet. What? Do we need to add sugar? The soy milk itself it's tastes not good. Even, I thought it'd be cold. What do we do? Enjoy it? It's like cool. Like if that was a pool, I would jump into it. They have the two options for the soy milk. We you asked know, what the difference was. She said one is savory, one is sweet. <clears throat> now, that I'm, now that I'm having more of it though, it does taste a little sweet. But the creaminess is very good. Maybe it is sweet. It is sweet, right? It's a little sweet. It's, it's like very, we're all right. We're slight sweet. We're used to it being super sweet. If this was a little bit sweeter, I think it'd be perfect and cold. So let's just admire this bag that they got going on here. I mean, this is pretty interesting. Ooh, Jace. Oh my God! Got gotcha. your fried dough. How do you say it? Uh, yo tio and a rice wiener. Should I dip it? A little oh dippy dip. yeah. Now it tastes a little sweet. So typically, we would have this in kanji. The rice porridge. I guess we're having it in soy milk. Which is a thing. Is it? It is a thing. I don't really get the goods yet. Can you tell what's in it? Egg and pork floss so far. Mmm. Mmm. 
<laughs> You're right, I do like <laughs> I love like savory sweet things. It's the a pork The pork floss right? is sweet. The eggs cooked very well. It's very nice and savory. And rice, man, you can't go wrong with rice. The rice, rice is a great texture. Good. And you know what? You can really taste the scallions. Yeah, agreed. The bolo bow is six dollars. <laughs> Insert photo here of the fancy bowl bow. Yo, that bowl bow was like this this tall. Wait, it was this tall? I was trying to show you the bowl bow. It was really tall. What? Thanks, so detailed. It didn't. It got good crunch too. Right? Thank you very much. Yo, we just finished eating at uh, Wind Sun. We got our delicious food. Watch out, don't get yourself. Let's turn around this way. Check out this alleyway. Yeah. Whoa, it's a restaurant, y'all. Yeah. We walk into Arepera Guacuco. We're going to get our second arepas. Actually, in Bushwick this time. If you want to get there, you can take the L train, but we decided to walk 45 minutes. Also, everyone, I believe that soy milk was very lightly sweetened. Okay, I was just expecting something a lot sweeter. And that's just what I'm used to, you know? But it was good, it was good. It was lightly sweet. Just to clarify. We're not sure what this is, but it looks really cool. <laughs> um, assuming it's hand painted because it says, always hand paint. We are at Guacuco. Guacuco. Here we go. We're gonna get the cocada without the rum. Outdoor dining. Here's the menu. We are getting the jamón con queso. It's nine dollars now, actually. Wow. Here we have the cocada, which is the coconut milkshake. We put a little cherry on top. The maraschino cherry, maybe cinnamon. Thing. There was a cherry in there. I just smushed it down. Now that's sweet. Very excited. I love milkshakes. And the coconut. I love milkshakes. I love coconut. But not cinnamon, so. It's not too sweet. <laughs> this is not too sweet! You're right though. I don't really like the cinnamon. I somehow really taste the cherry. Good. Right off the bat, it's smaller. This was nine dollars. See jamon con queso. This looks like breakfast. Initial thoughts from me. I wish the cheese looked a little more melty. That arepa looks amazing. So the yellow cheese is more melty. The white cheese is not melty. There's this sauce that's on the table. I think I read the reviews and people said that this sauce is really good. And maybe this one too, I don't know. We're gonna try it. Maybe? I need some sort of condiment. This sauce is really good. It's like herbally, creamy. It's mm. not as heavy, but this is really good. I really like the sauce. It really elevates the arepa. The arepa is not as hot as the other one. It's not as thick. I do like that they put in the two different types of cheese. That sauce is really, really good. Oh, this one's thicker. Mmm. That one's sweeter. I like how I have two sauce options. We're at Maria Hernandez Park. Yeah, right down the block from the restaurant. So go get your arepas. It's quite busy. And then come to the park. I think I'd rate it the same. Eight and a half? Eight and a half. Damn. Damn, you must love arepas. They're very good. You never rate things this high. Mm. The flavor of the ham is pretty strong. Yeah, it's a salty ham, I'll say yeah. that. Even with all this cheese, I feel like the flavor of the ham comes through the strongest. It doesn't smell very strong, right? Mmm. <laughs> that green sauce. It's banging. Oh no, I ran out of cheese. This though, herbalicious. I think I like this one better than the first one we had. If I were to get one more regularly, I guess, oh, yeah. I would choose this. This resembles like a breakfast sandwich. Yeah, good job, Araperat Guacupo. BTG approved. BTG approved. Oh, my chariot awaits. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. If I was an animal, what animal would I be? Donkey. I'm a donkey. You gotta be Eddie Murphy though. Right. Okay. We just stopped by Dollar General real quick and uh, we noticed that our luncheon meat. <laughs> luncheon. Luncheon meat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Was a little dented, so we got it replaced. We got two of these bad boys. Got some good reviews on Google. We got gloves for our washing needs. Cotton lined. Some cotton lined gloves. Yes. Kelly has very high expectations I for do. these bad boys. I do. Their name brand. <laughs> like a little happy little duckling. Indeed. Uh, we got some scrub mommies. Ajax for, you know. And some treats. Dog treats. Two for nine for these guys. Two for nine dollars. Each one was nine ounces. Indeed. Darium. Good deal. We're here at Cachapas Imas. Cachapas Imas. And the Imas is the arepas and whatever else they sell. But their main thing is the cachapas, so that's what we got. From what we understand, the difference between a cachapas and uh, the arepas is that 
the flour is just made out of fresh corn versus the dry crushed corn. Okay, you got the health, the healthy stuff. You got your chicken. This is hefty, yo. Oh, that's the fried cheese. The queso frito. Ooh. And we got our array of sauces on the side. Mm. So we ordered it with shredded chicken and queso frito, which right. is the fried cheese. And it comes with the lettuce, tomato, and la di da. So the cachapas. Yeah, how's itself, the cachapas? It's five fifty. The chicken is four dollars to add on top, and the cheese was an additional two dollars. The the cachapas is very nice and soft. Very easy to bite into. It's light. The bottom has gotten a little uh, soggy. Soggy. The cheese is delicious. Ooh, baby. That's the same green sauce as before. Wait, really? Similar. Has the same orange sauce. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of shredded chicken in general, but this is pretty good. I really like the cheese. The cachapas is uh, nice and it's, it's sweet. I'm using a knife and a fork, so let's go into it. Did the lettuce and tomato add anything for you, James? I think it adds a nice freshness to it. I like the texture. Yeah. It's really soft. It's a soft form cake. It's kind of like breaks apart easy. Versus yeah. the arepas more like put together. It's like mm. kind of crumbles. If you look at it, look, it's crumbling. It's sweeter. A little sweeter. And that cheese is very good. It's not too salty, it's like not overpowering. This would be good on everything. Do not think of arepas. Just rating of just a meal that you would enjoy to eat. I might give this a nine. Damn, look, all right guys. She already had a bunch of green sauce. <laughs> Yo, shut right up. There. Shut up. I and love then she just I put love my more. sauce. You know what? Oh my gosh. 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 Nine, Can't wait to try more of these. <laughs> now we know. That does it for arepas, cachapas, crawl. All of them we had were Venezuelan style. I think, honestly, my favorite. This is not a competition. This is just my personal favorite. I know people like to fight in the comments, but I'm just <laughs> trying to keep it civil, y'all. We love it all. But I like the cachapas. I like the cachapas too. The texture of the cachapas is just so freaking good. Honestly, we only had one cachapas also, so... Yeah, and the, we only had two arepas. Yeah, and we can only eat so much. Let's be real, yeah. okay? Damn, look at this glow. Ooh. Ooh. We looking good. Ooh. Bye. Thanks for watching, y'all. BGG's, BGG's out. BGG's out. Ah, there you go. There you go. You got the back. Ooh, number one. This is number one. All right, are we ready? Mm. You ready? Ready mm -hmm. for this? And then you pull off the sides. Oh yeah, off the other side. So the seaweed stays fresh. Oh yeah, baby. Well done. I'm gonna eat it.